Hello, servus. My name is Scott. I'm originally from Chicago, but now I'm living in Germany. And thank you for coming back for another video. Today I wanted to talk to you about, I believe the German word is, I have to cheat and look at my, li look at my list. So if you see me looking down, that's what I'm doing. Redewendung. So funny German and American phrases I want to talk about. Um, this all started when I found this list online of all these funny German sayings. Um, for example, um, one of my favorites actually is Ich verstehe Noah Bahnhof, which means I understand only train station. Directly translated, which the, the actual meaning is I, I don't understand what you're saying. So I just... <laughs> But that was a funny way to say I don't understand. Um, but then I thought, you know, we have these same things in English. Just, obviously, a little different. So I wanted to go through the, a couple of these that I thought were just really hilarious. So, Leben ist kein Ponyhof. Life is no pony farm. In other words, life can be tough. Life is challenging. Du gehst mir auf den cakes. You are walking on my cookies, directly translated, which means you're annoying me. But I love that one. Du gehst mir auf den cakes. You're, you're getting on my cookies. <laughs> we might say you're getting on my nerves, I think. But we, uh, we'll come to the American sayings later. Ich glaub ich spinne. I think I spider, which means I, I think I'm going crazy, or you're driving me crazy. Um, yet haben wir den Salat. I think that just directly translated means now we have the salad, but um, meaning the salad is mixed and everything's a complete mess in that form. If, if By the way, if, if I'm getting any of these wrong, please let me know down in the comments. And if you have any that you really think are really funny, let me know those too, because I, I find these things just hilarious, actually. So, okay, next one is, this one I think... <laughs> It's pretty funny. <laughs> Actually, I really like this one. Klapatsu afatot. Klapatsu afatot. Which means, close the lid, the monkey is dead. <laughs> <It's>, what? <laughs> what are you talking about? But it means that that's it. It's over. It's the end. But what a great way to say that. Yeah, oh, it, it, uh, das ist alles für mich. Ich bin, ich bin total blöd. Klappe zu, aber tot. <laughs> I actually really like that one. Okay. Oh, here's another good one, actually. Jetzt, geht's um, jetzt geht um die Wurst, Wurst. Now it goes around the sausage. <laughs> Which I don't get. But it means... I guess all or nothing. You're in a little or you're in nothing, I guess. So Du bist Du bist Du bist auf dem Holzweg. You are on the woodway. Um I guess that means you're completely wrong, but I'm I'm I really I need to look up what the or origination is of these things because I find that really just hilarious. Anyway. Um Ich verstehe nur Bahnhof. That's one of my favorites, of course. We talked about that one. Du bist so angsthase. Du bist so angsthase. You are such a fear rabbit. Um, you are so easily scared. Uh, where's another one here? There we go. Ich glaube, mein Schwein pfeift. Um... I believe my pig whistles. <laughs> Which <laughs> don't I don't know. Which means I believe I'm dreaming. Um, ich lach mich kaputt. Once in a while I hear people say actually, oh ich lach mich tot. I laugh me broken or I laugh me dead. Um, but you, you've got to be kidding me, or I'm laughing. That's crazy. Um, Ich hab jetzt echt die Nase voll. I now I re, have now really my nose full, which means I've had enough of this. Uh, let's see. Du Glückspilz. 
which means you lucky mushroom. You lucky guy. But why looks pills? Why lucky mushroom? I don't know. I'm sure there's some great story behind that, but I'll, I'll have to look it up. Um, du guckst du dumm aus der Wasche. Du guckst du dumm aus der Wasche. There you are looking stupid out of the laundry. <laughs> I don't understand that one at all. But I guess it means you didn't expect that. Um, oh, this one I think is really pretty funny, actually. Da wird er Hund in der Pfanne verrückt. The dog goes crazy in the pan. <laughs> Again, uh, that's just a really colorful and creative and fantastic way to say, that's unbelievable, which is apparently its meaning. Kein Schwein war da. No pigs were there. Um, I guess that's sort of a Umgangssprache or, or way to say that uh, nobody showed up. Uh, let's see, what else do we have here? Das ist mir wurscht. And I hear this one actually a lot. I don't think this one is actually so funny. I just think that it, people use this one a lot, saying, Ah, es egal, oder es mir wurscht. Um, that is just sausage, which means it just doesn't matter. Um, Oh, and this one, actually, we have a similar one to this, but we use, instead of Oma, we say Mama. Du kannst mir der Oma, deine Oma erzählen. And so you can tell that to your grandma. Because what the meaning is, I don't believe that. And we, we would say, uh, uh, in English, I think it would be, yeah, yeah, go tell your mama that. She might believe you, but I'm not believing you. So now, I wanted to go into the American ones. And I remember saying this actually to a few friends, and I said, oh, man, that guy, he bought the farm. And they looked at me, huh? Kauft er der Bauernhof? And I said, no, he didn't literally buy the farm. It just means he died. Um, actually, it came from um, during uh, training pilots, uh, for various whatever occasions. Actually, I think it started in World War II. Um, they, when these pilots all over the world, possibly even here maybe, were being trained and they died, they crashed the airplanes, and or they crashed the airplane, maybe they didn't die. They crashed the airplane into a farmer's field, then the governments would have to pay the farmers reparations or money to fix the farm. So they say, oh yeah, he bought the farm. And usually, of course, when a pilot crashes, that's the end. So he died. Um, jumping on the bandwagon. That's another one. It doesn't mean um, you're actually jumping on a wagon. But it sort of has that meaning. So you see others having a really good time or maybe they're rooting for a winning team. Um, they weren't rooting for the team beforehand, but now they're winning. So everybody, oh, they're jumping on the bandwagon. They want to be a part of this good time, too. So... We say, we say that. Another one, the whole nine yards. It's a movie about this, I think. Nine yards with Bruce, Bruce, what's his name? Um, but it means you're giving it everything that you have. This is actually, um, um, I think, predates World War II. But anyway, it, in certain aircraft, there are these machine guns, and they have a strip or a coil of bullets, and those bullets were actually nine yards long. So when they were giving their after-action reports um, on their altercation, whatever they had with their, they said, you know, they gave it their all. They, they gave it the whole nine yards. And that stuck today that we still say that, oh, man, that means you gave it everything. Like the, the familiar saying, what was that in Germany? It was all or nothing, I think. Oh, wait, let me scroll up here. That There's, yes, geist, jetzt, jetzt geht um die Wurst. That has basically the same meaning as that one. Okay, the next one is, ah, that was a piece of cake. I said this before, um, and my wife, I said to my wife, you know, do we have uh, something like that in Germany? Do you say maybe, ja, das war ein Stück Kuchen. And she said, no, <laughs> absolutely not. But all it means is that that this particular um, this particular thing was very, very easy. Sorry, I just see now that this light is getting in my in my glasses. So sorry about that. Um, I'm in back and it's dark. Anyway, 
Ist egal. Ist mir wurscht. Ist mir wurscht. So. Shoot the breeze. To shoot the breeze means you're talking, you're blowing hot air, you're shooting the breeze. You're just talking with your friends. That's all that means. Kind of a funny saying, though. When you're driving and you pass something up, your friend might say to you, Oh, man, you've got to do a Yui. That means a U-turn, a Huey. I don't know where that came from either, but that's all it means. And we're back. Um, if somebody is accusing you of something that you know you're not guilty of, or they're complaining maybe to the wrong person, or they're incorrect in some fashion, you say, uh, we would say in, in the U.S., uh, an idiom or a slang term would be, he's barking up the wrong tree. That means there's no animal up there. The dog is barking up the wrong tree. Um, throw me a bone doesn't actually mean werf mir einen Knochen zu. It means give me something. Um, maybe if you're negotiating to buy a car and the guy, you say, you know, he was asking 500 euros and you say, I'll give you 300. And he says, no, 500. And he doesn't give you, ah, come on, throw me a bone. Give me something. Let's meet in the middle somewhere. Give me a little something. Another one is hit the sack. doesn't actually mean to hit somebody in the sack. It actually refers to an old bed, which was just a sack stuffed with straw and, I'm not sure, hay and things I believe they filled them with. But anyway, that just means that you're going to go to bed. Oh, I'm done. I'm going to hit the sack. And we, oh, another one that, 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 I said this to my wife one time, and she looked at me like, what? I said, wait, sit tight. And she kind of looked at me, sits in eng? Huh? I said, All that means is just to stay where you are and wait. I'll be back. I need to check on something or whatever. That means just to wait. This is another one that I was on vacation with a friend of mine, and I said to him, man, That guy's loaded. And he said, you know, you said that to me before, but you were pointing at a guy with a very big boat. Now you're pointing at a guy that's drunk. And I said, yes, it means both. Loaded can mean he has a lot of money, and loaded can mean that guy is really drunk. So that's a strange little saying we use sometimes. Similar to, wow, up the wazoo. That guy's got money up the wazoo. I'm not really sure where that got its start from, but it just means that, that, that they have a lot of something. Um, yeah, the guy that owns Amazon, that guy's got euros up to wazoo. He's got a lot of them. Um, he is pissed. Man, that guy is pissed. Yeah, it's angepissed. But that's not what it means. <laughs> it means he's just really, really mad. He's pissed off. Um, yeah, he's just very angry. Um, let's talk Turkey. That's another sort of a funny one. We're not actually talking about Putin in any way, shape, or form. We're just saying that let's get down to the meat of the subject. You know, forget all the running around and discussing different things. Let's talk Turkey. Get right to the point. Oh, another one we say, hey, what's doing? How's things? What's doing? which I think translated to German would be roughly was tun, which is, yeah, what's going on, what's happening, what are you up to? Um, which sort of leads me into the greetings thing. Um, I've seen some, a couple of other videos from Americans in Germany that are doing some, some of these similar sorts of sayings, and this is a very strange subject because, you know, greetings can be um, really wildly different depending on where you are in the country. Um, so somebody might say, you know, wie geht es dir, auf Deutsch, which means, how are you? We might, it really only means hello. In, in, we really don't want to know. <laughs> it's just sort of, we're, we're not trying to invade your privacy. We're just trying to say hi. That's really all that means. Um, and it could be something like New York. Maybe they say, hey, how you doing? How you doing? Chicago, we say that a lot. Hey, how's it going? How you doing? Um, what's up? Not the what's up. That's past. But we do say that. Hey, what's up? We just say, hey. Which means, hello, hi, guten tag. Um, hey, what do you know? 
that's another thing. We don't really want you to tell us what you know. We're just saying that as a greeting. Or maybe, you know, I've, my dad says this one too. Hey, what's cooking? Which also just means, what's going on? What's good? It used to be a saying in the 80s, what's good in the hood, man? Which just means what's good in your neighborhood, what's happening, what's going on in your neighborhood. These are all just very innate variations of that. Um, how you living? That was sort of an 80s thing. How you living large? How you living large? Hey, what do you say? There's another one. What's the good word? Howdy. If you're in the South, maybe it's just howdy. How goes it? How's things? I say that. I actually typed that a lot. I actually <laughs> typed that to a friend of mine this morning um, here in Germany. Hey, how's things by you? I, I, that's sort of a, maybe that's a, sort of a Chicago thing. I'm not sure, but we, I say that a lot. How's life? And this brings me to the, the last one that I've written down here is, hey, buddy. Um, buddy is not a word that I use super often, but I use it with certain people. So if I call you my buddy, that's like kumpel, I guess, but maybe a step up. I don't know. You're sort of like my, you're like my brother. Like buddy to, to me signifies that you and I are close. And I think I, I think I have maybe four or five, six of those guys here that I say that are my buddy, like Chicago Andy, German Andy, Oli that I work with, cool dude, Ramon, yeah, and maybe there's a few more in there. If I forgot about you, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so buddy is just one of those those words, but anyway, I think most of those are, are used when someone feels comfortable enough with you to be very casual about their greeting. Um, and of course, that's a good thing. If, if somebody greets you that way, if you come into the US and they say, hey buddy, how's it going? They're, they like you, they're, they're, they have a good rapport with you. Maybe they just, you know, I don't know, feel comfortable. Um, but it means that they like you. So some of these terms can be used by people that are always very casual Maybe if you get down in the south, that's sort of that they're that way sometimes. Very friendly, very outgoing, very uh, relaxed. Some sometimes you might get into a place where there's a little bit of slang in there, like "Hey, what's up, y'all?" Which just means what is happening with you all, or what is going on with you all, y'all. So I guess that could be similar to saying something like, you know, "Hallo, Susan." So. Anyway, those are the funny German, funny American sayings that I wanted to share with you today. Um, I, I just found this book. I don't know if you can see this. Yeah, there we go. American slang. My wife has this, and I thought, oh, man, this is cool. So let's, let's just tear that open a little bit. Oh, here's a word. Whatchamacallit. What you might call it, I think, is like um, a thingamajig or a doohickey. Like maybe dingsbooms, I think. But it's what's cool is it lists all of these different words here. Nope, which means no or nine. Yep. Hey, did you get? Did you pick up those cookies? Yep. I think which means yep. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Um. Oh, there's even, and there's different sections in this book. This is a really old book. I think this is from the 80s or something. And there's a second version of this one that I have as well. But um, I think this is fantastic. So the interstate is the Autobahn. Step on it. Step on it means keep gas, full gas. <laughs> uh, driver's license, fear to shine. BYOB. That was big when I was a kid. Bring your own beer. Oh, speaking of beer, hang on. I got a Kinze. Best sound in the world, wait for it. Yeah. Actually, the plop on the Flensburgers is a little bit nice, but anyway, hey, here's to you. Hope you're having a great weekend. I know it's really, really hot. It's really, really hot here as well. I think it's 34, 35 today. So I uh, hope you're keeping cool. Prost. Oh, that's
nice and cold. Wunderbar. So, back to the little book. I actually think this is awesome. Let's see. Oh, it's on me. If you're in a bar or pub and you're um, maybe having a few cold snacks and you say, ah, the next round's on me. That just means that you're buying the next beer. Pretty sure you guys know what that meant. Let's see what else we have here. As I'm seeing, these aren't really, oh, spaced out. He's spaced out, which means he just had a lapse of memory and he's, he can't remember. But it comes from, the, I think, the 60s and 70s when people were on drugs and they were spacing out. I'm so wasted, man. That's another thing. Wasted. I guess that can mean if you're a skateboarder and you crash, oh, he wasted. But also if you're very, very drunk or stoned or high on drugs, you're wasted. Let's see what else is in here. Telefonieren. To make a phone call. Ein Nummer wählen. To dial a number. So, ah, here's some. These are funny. Let's see this. Get a grip. Verstehst du denn nicht? Uh, can you deal with that? Kommst du klar? Hmm, let's see what else we have here. Man, that flies back. I'm afraid that fly's gonna pick me up and carry me away. He's so big. Get the picture? Get the picture? Which means, hast du gedacht? I don't know if I'm pronouncing these words properly. Sorry. Uh, let's see. Get it? Do you get it? Which means, das heißt, klar. Klar? I hear ya. I say this one a lot too. Oh man, I hear ya. Which means, ja klar, verstehe. Uh, let's see. But these aren't really funny ones. The other ones were funny. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll look through this one and we'll see um, if there's some really funny ones in here as well. And I'll share them with you guys. Um, but the next video I really have to make is, I've been working on this one for a long time, about differences. Uh, the differences between my life in the USA and my life in Germany. So I think that should be coming out next week, hopefully. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it. If you could, give me a little click on the thumbs up, dings, booms down there. Maybe subscribe, share this video with your friends. And uh, anyway, have a great weekend. See ya.